Russia's war on Ukraine enters its 100th day, with Moscow asking journalists in the country not to mention the length of the, quote, special military operation. Trey Yingst has more from Kyiv. Brutal street-to-street -street fighting now taking place in eastern Ukraine as the war enters its 100th day. We're seeing Ukrainian counteroffensives holding back the Russians in the north and south. But in the Donbas region, Moscow is making progress as it launches new offenses up and down the front line. President Volodymyr Zelensky vowing to continue the fight until the Russians are pushed back across the border. The Ukrainian armed forces are still here. Most importantly, our people are still here. We have defended Ukraine for 100 days already. Victory will be ours. Much of the fighting on Thursday centered around the eastern city of Severodonetsk. It's not clear how much of the city is under Russian control, but the Ukrainians say they're sending in reinforcements. We're going to push Russians back. We're going to make sure all of us are going to get back home with their families and make sure that occupants are not going to do the same. And on the economic front, the European Union officially announcing a new sanctions package effectively banning Russian oil. The phase-out process will take place over the next six months, with temporary exceptions given to some Eastern European countries. EU officials say it's a vital step in making sure Vladimir Putin can't rearm his military. If we want to drain Putin's war chest, then we have to get rid of our dependency on Russian fossil fuels. Ukraine's defense minister says his troops are training to operate new missile systems promised by the U.S. this week. In Kyiv, Trey Yinkst, Fox News.